Are you ready to sew the easiest, cutest skirt for summer? Perfect, because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this skirt. And who doesn't wanna rock this all summer with a crop top? Let's be honest, huh? <laughs> Okay, so hey, my name's Abby, and this is just one of a series of beginner-friendly summer sewing projects that are going to be coming to the channel. So if you want to be notified first when any new project drops, be sure to like and subscribe below. Let's get started with Betty and see what we need to do first. If you're not sure who Betty is, check out this video in the description to learn more. But for this project, we're going to measure around the largest part of your hip. So this is usually the biggest part around your booty. So I'm going to measure around Betty and see where she is the absolute biggest and take that measurement. And she's right around 21 inches. And the second measurement that we'll need is the length of the skirt. So first you need to decide where you want the skirt to start. So do you want it to be high-waisted or on your hip? And then from that start point, measure down how long you want the skirt to be. Now we'll take these two measurements and make a rectangle. One side will be your biggest hip measurement plus four inches. And if you want a fuller skirt, you can go up to 2X your biggest hip measurement. The other side will be your desired skirt length plus one and a half inches. Fold your biggest hip measurement in half, line up the skirt length, pin it in place, and then sew it using a half inch seam allowance. If you're not sure what a seam allowance is, check out this video. Now you should have a loop of fabric that you've created. If you have, amazing, you're doing perfect. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take the top edge of our loop of fabric and we're going to fold it down a quarter of an inch. If you have sewing clips, you can use the lines on the back of them to do this. If you don't, just use a ruler. So fold the edge down a quarter of an inch all the way around and then iron this in place. Now that we have this first fold, we're going to fold it again, but this time we're going to use our elastic to measure how much to fold down. So you want to give yourself about a quarter of an inch of room to stitch more than your elastic. So just Put your elastic on your fabric and see what looks like a good amount of sewing room for you and then pin that in place. Iron it and then we're going to sew this but before we jump in it's very important that you leave a one inch gap on where you're sewing. So you can see here I have two pens so for example you'll start sewing at the green pin go all the way around and stop at the pink pin. You won't sew between them. I'll show you why in a second. So now you're gonna throw this on the sewing machine. And now that we've sewn it while leaving a gap, this gap is where we're actually going to insert our elastic. So you can take your elastic and a safety pin, pin the safety pin to the end of your elastic and then thread it through this channel that we've just created. By folding the fabric twice and sewing it, we've made a little tunnel. So that's where we're pushing this elastic through. And once it comes out the other side, you can actually pin these two sides together, make sure the elastic is flat and isn't twisted anywhere. And then we need to attach the elastic. So to do that, we're going to use a zigzag stitch. So lay the elastic flat under your needle and then a zigzag stitch over this a couple of times until it's nice and secure. Cut off any excess thread or elastic and then we can just pull our fabric until the elastic disappears up into the tunnel. Now we'll sew this little gap that we left closed. So hold it flat put it under your machine, and make sure that your needle is starting on top of your previous stitches. Close that gap, cut off your excess threads, and voila, you have a skirt that you can start wearing. Now that we have the waistband done, this is a great time to actually put the skirt on and make sure that it's the length that you want. We're really close to it. We're still going to hem it so it will get a little bit shorter. 
And while we're at this pause, I'd love to know what would you like to learn how to make next? Let me know in the comments below so I can make a future video just for you. Now, let's hem this skirt so you can start wearing it. The hem is super easy. It's really similar to the waistband that we already did. For the hem, we're just going to fold up a quarter of an inch and then fold it another quarter of an inch and iron again. So two folds. This makes sure that that raw edge where all the little fraying threads are is hidden and tucked away. So once you've folded it twice and ironed it, we're just going to stitch all the way around and you can start wearing this skirt. And that's it. We've really just taken a rectangle, made it into a circle, and put some elastic on it. And now you have a really beautiful skirt that you can wear all summer. And when people ask you, where'd you get that? You can say, I made it. How exciting is that? I really hope you dive in, try this project. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as a quick reminder, if you're still feeling a little bit nervous about using your sewing machine, then be sure to grab my free five-step guide below where I walk you step-by-step -step through setting up and using your machine so you can start sewing with confidence. And now that you've finished a skirt, why not check out one of these other fun summer sewing projects? <laughs> Whatever you decide, happy sewing.